Hey, it's Brooks with Character Design Forge. So often I'll share time lapses of my work and usually the focus of any commentary surrounding it is the decision making, the story being told. And while that will be present in this video, I get so many questions from people trying to understand the technical aspect. What brush did you use there? What kind of layer was that? Hold, hold on, slow down. So I thought I'd make sure that this is an illustration that as it comes together, you'll know what steps were taken to get there. I'm using Procreate on the iPad. I use an iPad Pro, but a lot of these steps will be fairly universal no matter the app that you use. I explain most of the steps here, but if there's anything that you still have questions about or you just wanna focus on learning Procreate, I have a huge guide video that I put up a while ago in the link down below. Enjoy. We're following up on an older character that we designed on this channel in the past, and this was our Mushroom Forager. Her story is that she lives in a post-apocalyptic scenario where noxious and poisonous mushrooms put off such deadly spores that she collects some of the only pure air that she can find, which is in sealed potato chip bags. This character will live in the same environment, but instead sells water out of a sealed water tank. Now because of the spores and the danger of their environment, everything about this water is completely sealed off. I start out in Procreate on a 3500 by 2500 canvas at 300 dpi. I'm using a brush here called Tara's Oval Sketch, available on Dizzy Tara's Gumroad below. This brush is nice because at a small size it works like a pencil, but when it's larger it's like a fat pastel. I start iterating very small, working out the basic shapes of my character, which is easier to do in broad strokes when they're small. I've decided that the character will walk with prosthetic robot legs that will match her water tanks. Once I have a silhouette that I like, I start erasing away from my shapes with the same oval sketch brush as an eraser. Then I scale that up with the cursor tool, and on a new layer, start sketching over top of it with a smaller pencil to figure out the details. In a couple of places like the arms, I draw in another layer with a different color just in case I want to change something. It's all about iterating. As I'm trying to figure out the shapes of the water tank itself, I actually open up Procreate's Perspective tool to lay down two vanishing points. You can find this tool in the Settings menu under Drawing Assist, and it's actually the same tool that I used to get a symmetrical reservoir at the very beginning of the sketch. This makes it so that I have a place I can put the four feet. Now as I'm developing this walker, I realized that I could spend a lot of time getting all of the proportions just right on this big mechanical hard surface walker, or I could spend a fraction of that time modeling the walker in ZBrush. This is a process that we talked about in a video from a few months ago, and it ends up being a surefire way to know that my legs are all the right shape, oriented the right way, and it was just a more enjoyable process to go through. Could I have gotten the same result with pure drawing? Absolutely, and this is no replacement for a good understanding of how to draw construction and perspective, but to expedite things, it worked out great. And you can see that I add a lot more details over top of this, so that I just use the model as a base. I add a solid color layer for the water, and then I lower the opacity of my whole sketch. This can be done either through lowering the opacity of a layer through the layers menu, or like I did here, using a white fill layer that has lowered opacity. Next, I create an ink layer and use a variant on the oval sketch called oval ink. It just lacks the chalk texture and it draws a lot smoother. I have both of these brushes programmed as quick actions in the menu that I customized when you tap the screen or swipe in a particular direction. I messed with the face of this character a few times, and so the one that I end up with is changed towards the very end. To color in a line, all I do is lock the opacity of the layer, two fingers toward the right swiped on a layer in the layers menu, so that you can see this checker pattern behind it. I also have that action, which is called alpha lock, as one of my quick actions. There are ways to fill in the drawing with color, but I tend to prefer doing it manually, that way there's no chance of pixel artifacting. I fill in with a flat color on a new layer, underneath the lines, and now I can use clipping masks for all of the color details. 
Clipping masks are layers that depend on whatever is underneath them. So if I draw outside of the lines, it will only register on the layer that it's clipped to. I use a soft airbrush, which comes as a stock brush in Procreate, scaled up in order to get a gradient effect on the water tank. I use a solid fill with low opacity for the character's helmet. Once I have my flat layers, I create a new clipping mask with a light purple color, and this layer I set to multiply in the layers panel, then lower the opacity. From here, I erase away areas in the piece where light is hitting so that all that's left is our shadow. I use soft and hard brushes. This is a good starting point for the look of our character. Now in a new layer, I start using lighter colors to go over places where there might be some highlights or areas where light is hitting more intensely. This also just gives us places for visual interest. I set this layer to add, which just brightens up more so than a typical normal layer. Next, I create the ground and environment that this character is in, which is similar to the one our forager was in. This time, I wanted to go slightly bigger with the mushrooms. There's a few more things to do to set the scene a little better. For one, we want some cast shadow on the ground beneath him. Just a soft brush and some carving with the eraser does the trick. We also want the noxious, grungy feeling of this environment. So for that, we'll add some texture to the character and background. For most of this, I use a gouache brush to imply mud, dirt, and scum. Last up, I add a little bit more shadow and light, and as a final touch, a decal on the water tank, and a little symbol, running water. This was such a fun and interesting character design and illustration to put together even as just a one-off. I'm just as pleased with this one as I was that old mushroom forager, and I, I really like how they mesh and go together so well. A little bit of a, a secret for you, this illustration in this video is the print for next month's Biko's Backpack. You can get that over on patreon.com slash bageldenizen, here's this month's, and of course Biko's Backpack is a monthly delivery of new original art right to your mailbox from me, and it helps the channel out a ton. You can also find my course at learncharacterdesign.com, it's an 18 hour comprehensive character design curriculum, and you can follow me on uh, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok, all at bageldenizen. Thank you so much for watching, and have fun creating!